Hello, in this lecture, I am going to discuss the questions that appeared in the last uh, uh, CSIR JRF NET examination. Uh, very specifically, I am going to discuss questions from molecular spectroscopy topic. Two questions were appeared in this exam. Question number one. The rotational absorption spectrum of HCl35 shows the following lines. Spectrum is given for 3 to 4 J, J3 3 to 4, J4 to 5, 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8 transition and their corresponding uh, spectral lines are given here. Okay, this is the spectrum and uh, the frequencies of the spectral lines are given here in centimeter inverse. Neglecting centrifugal distortion the value of the rotational constant in units of centimeter inverse is estimated as okay so we have to neglect dis uh, centrifugal distortion and uh, we have to calculate the rotational constant okay if you neglect centrifugal distortion then the rotational energy formula you know very well the rotational energy formula is f of j equal to bj into j plus 1 where b is rotational constant p is rotational constant right in centimeter inverse unit wave number unit okay this formula itself uh, will give energy in centimeter inverse okay and uh, we all we also know that if transition takes place from jth level to the next j plus 1 level that is transition between adjacent level okay j to j plus 1 transition. For this transition, what is the energy required? Energy required for the transition, uh, we can calculate by finding the energy of this level, higher level, minus the energy of the lower level, that is f of j plus 1 minus f of j. Okay. Uh, so, in, in this formula, wherever g, j is there, you put j plus 1 okay, for, to get this energy and use the same formula for this level. Okay, and if you subtract, you will get this final answer. I am not going to do that. You just try it. 2b into j plus 1. Okay, 2b into j plus 1 is the energy required for the transition. Okay, or the frequency of the spectral line. At what frequency uh, the, uh, the particular transition will absorb the radiation from the the radiation okay from microwave region okay at what frequency of microwave region uh, the particular transition will absorb that is nothing but energy required for the transition because the energy is given in wave number unit so the frequency of this particular line is equal to the energy required for transition so new bar equal to 2b into j plus 1 okay so if I put j equal to here the uh, first line given is 3 to 4 transition so, uh, if I put j equal to 3 here, if I put j equal to 3 here, then the frequency of the spectral line is supposed to appear here as uh, 3, 3 plus 1, 4, 4 into 2, 8, 8b. Okay, this is the frequency for 3 to 4 transition. Similarly, frequency for 4 to 5 transition, 4 to 5. Okay, if I put j equal to 4 here, 4 plus 1, 5, 5 to 10, so 10b. Then j equal to 5 to 6 transition will appear at j plus, if you put j equal to 5 then 5 plus 1 6 okay uh, 6 into 2 12 b like that it goes okay and if you see you will get a line at 8 b you will get a line at 10 b you will get a line at 12 b so the gap is equal correct the difference see, 10 8 difference is 2 12 b 10 b difference is 2 b okay so if the centrifugal distortion okay is neglected then definitely the the gap between adjacent line in the rotational spectrum should be same which is equal to 2b okay so the distance between adjacent line the distance between adjacent lines in the rotational spectrum or in the microwave spectrum in the pure rotational spectrum that should be equal to 2b 2b okay that should be equal to 2b now see uh, the 
gap the frequencies of the spot lines are given here so what is the gap between uh, 3 to 4 and uh, uh, 4 to 5 transition so 4 to 5 transition appeared at 104.1 104.1 and uh, uh, 3 to 4 appeared at 83.03 okay uh, if I take the difference the difference comes out as 21.07 okay then a distance between the third line and the second line that is 5 to 6 line 5 to 6 appeared at 124.3 and 4 to 5 appeared at 104.1 and what is the difference the difference is 20.2 uh, okay similarly 6 to 7 appeared at 145.03 and 5 to 6 appeared at 124.3 okay if we subtract this uh, you'll get 20.73 like that okay then last one 7 to 8 appeared at 165.51 and uh, 6 to 7 appeared at 145.03 if you take the difference the difference comes out as uh, 11 3 so it comes out as 20.48 okay and see these values 21.07 20.2, 20.73, 20 20.48. If I take the average, the average value, you know where will the average value roughly comes out as 20 point something. 20 point something. Okay. If you take the average of these, okay, three values are in uh, uh, close to 20.2, uh, 20 20.7, 20 20.48, and this is the only value which is 21.07. Anyway, if you take the average, the average value comes out okay roughly in the range 20 okay so 2b value is roughly 20 okay and uh, uh, what is the value of b then the value of b let me write to the next page the value of b see 2b value is roughly 20 so the value of b is supposed to be equal to 10 centimeter inverse close to 10 centimeter inverse okay so the correct option for this question is option C. It's a very simple question actually. Okay, if centrifugal distortion is neglected, then the line spacing between adjacent lines in the spectrum should be equal, and that is equal to 2B. Okay, so by finding the uh, distance between adjacent line, right, we can find the value of the rotational constant. Okay, then next question that appeared in the last uh, uh, CSIR examination is that the vibrational energy of nth state of HCl is approximately given as okay vibration energy is given here question number two <coughs> GV GN okay uh, we normally use symbol V for vibrational quantum number in spectroscopy but here it is given as N so uh, keep this in mind uh, here n is nothing but vibrational quantum number okay gn equal to 3000 into n plus half minus 50 into n plus half the whole square okay this is the formula given approximately given as okay the what's the what they are asking the vibrational quantum number n max Okay, they are asking n max. Let me write here. The vibration quantum number n max beyond which HCl undergo dissociation is. So we need to find out the uh, uh, quantum number correspond to the maximum level. That means above that level the molecule dissociate. Okay, how to do that? You know very well. Uh, the general formula is this, right? General formula. I'll write in terms of n itself gn equal to uh, n plus half into omega e bar minus n plus half the whole square into xe into omega e bar this is the uh, general formula okay general formula right for um, unharmonic oscillator or a Morse oscillator okay so if you compare these two formula it is very clear that omega e bar equal to 3000 correct because n plus half n plus half are same so omega e bar should be equal to 3000 similarly here we have minus sign here also we have minus sign 
n plus half whole square here also we have n plus half whole square therefore this x e into omega e bar should be equal to 50 x e into omega e bar should be equal to 50 okay omega e bar value is available therefore x e is equal to i can write x e equal to 50 by omega e bar okay or 50 by omega e bar value is 3000 okay so 50 by 3000 or we can also write this as 5 by 300 okay this is the value of x e right then we know very well when you uh, the gap between adjacent level okay in the case of uh, uh, vibrational uh, transition okay you know very well in the ground electronic state if you move uh, towards uh, the higher vibrational quantum number the gap between adjacent level decreases then close to the uh, dissociation limit the delta g that is gap between adjacent level becomes zero okay so you, uh, if you use that idea okay you can find out what is the vmax okay so uh, but vmax formula is so uh, very quite simple one so i'll write the formula directly the maximum value of n is equal to 2x e minus 1 okay so direct formula we can use this formula and you can calculate the n max directly okay this formula you can easily find out by making delta g approaches 0 as n approaches higher value okay so make, by making use of that formula you can get this this is not a, uh, a tough one it's very easy now i'll substitute the value of xe here so so what is n max n max equal to 1 by 2 xe minus 1 this is the formula 1 by 1 by 2 into the value of xe we found out which is 5 by 300 okay minus 1 5 into to 10 so we will get 10 by 300 okay 10 by 300 let me write once 5 into 2 10 10 by 300 minus 1 okay so you can cancel 1 0 1 0 here so here you will get 1 by 30 which is in the denominator if you bring it to the numerator it becomes 30 by 1 or I will just put 30 30 minus 1 which is comes out as 29 so the n max for this molecule correspond to the value of 29 okay so the correct option for this question is option a right yeah so that these two questions were really simple in the last uh, uh, CSA JRF examination okay I stop here we will continue with the uh, uh, another uh, set of questions from another topic okay thank you